Okay, after weeks of campaigning, the runoff election is today. Incumbent Governor Henry McMaster is up against businessman John Warren. That's right, Republican voters, voters that is, will be going to the polls today to decide which one of those two men will represent the party in November's general election. 7 News' Tobias Rodriguez live in Greenville with a whole lot more on this. Hi, Tobias. Good morning, Christina and Sabila. Both of these candidates have been all around the Palmetto State for weeks now, trying to rally voters to the polls for today's runoff election. And I was able to speak with both of them yesterday, and they're both very confident that they will win the nomination today. Governor Henry McMaster says that he wants to cut taxes. He says that he's also very thankful for the support from the White House. He says that he hopes that that support from President Donald Trump will support and turn into success for the state of South Carolina. John Warren says that he wants voters to know that he is conservative, pro-life, and that he is a man of service. He says that he is not beholden to anyone and that he will work for the taxpayers. He has also picked up some port some support from other candidates that were in the primary like Catherine Templeton and Kevin Bryant. And if you're gonna be coming out to vote today, only certain Voters are eligible today for the runoff election. If you did vote in the Republican primary, then you can vote in the Republican runoff. If you didn't vote at all, then you can also come out to vote today in the Republican runoff. But if you did vote in the Democratic primary, then you're not allowed to vote in the Republican runoff. There are no statewide races for Democrats today. And coming up in the next half hour of Daybreak, we'll tell you a little bit more about the runoff and what you need whenever you come out to the polls. Reporting live, Tobias Rodriguez, 7 News. All right, thanks so much, Tobias. Our GOP candidates were in the upstate yesterday. We also got a chance to hear from businessman John Warren Monday morning at a restaurant in Simpsonville. Take a listen. Being pro-life should not be about politics. This is a moral issue, and all of us believe firmly in protecting innocent life. Warren says if he is elected governor, he would push to defund Planned Parenthood. He says not a single penny of taxpayer dollars should go to the organization. President Trump took Air Force One to Columbia last night to give his support to Governor McMaster. But to keep this momentum going, we need more Republicans in Washington. And we need Governor Henry McMaster as a continuation in South Carolina. McMaster was one of the first to back President Trump as a candidate. He has endorsed the president on things like sending National Guard troops to the U.S.-Mexico border and building a wall there. A group of protesters showed up in West Columbia because of the president's visit. 7 News is your local election.